power flow analysis by newton rapson method solved problem 1 perform an iteration of newton rapson load flow method and determine the power flow solution for the given system take the base mva as 100 and assume the voltage v1 equal to 1.05 angle 0 per unit so consider this table there is only one line present in this problem that line is connected between bus 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 and the resistance and reactances are given in per unit and the half line charging admittances yp divided by 2 is given in per unit and the load power values for both the buses are specified pl equal to 90 and ql equal to 20 for the bus 1 and pl equal to 30 and ql equal to 10 for bus 2 solution so consider the given table and draw the diagram so here only two buses bus 1 and bus 2 in between a single line is connected and the line resistance and the reactances are specified we can write this resistance and reactances as an impedance r plus j into x so 0 0.0839 plus j into 0.5183 so this is a line impedance and half line charging admittances are given the half line charging admittances are presented in both the ends of the lines so j.0636 and uh, here this side j.0636 in some cases they will give line charging admittances simply in such case we, we need to divide that value by 2 but here it is directly given as half line charging admittances so we can take j.0636 one side of the line and uh, j.0636 on the other side of the line step 1 form y bus here the total number of buses 2 hence the y bus is of 2 cross 2 matrix so we are having 4 parameters y11 y22 y12 and y21 so first find the y11 so since the given line value is of an impedance we need, we need to convert this impedance into the admittance one so simply taking inverse of this value we will be getting the admittance so 1 divided by the line ad, line impedance plus the half line charging admittances that gives you y11 and similarly the line connected to bus 2 is also having the same impedance if we calculate we will be getting 0 0.3044 minus j 1.8164 so you can use uh, complex mode in the calculator and uh, you can derive this expression easily you can obtain this answer and uh, for y22 you will be getting the same answer since the line impedances impedance value is same and for y12 the half line charging admittances minus of the admittances connected between line 1 and 2 here the impedance is given minus 1 divided by the impedance value that gives you the admittance value while considering half diagonal elements no need to consider half line charging admittances so we can form the y bus like this y11 equal to 0 0.3044 minus j 1.8164 similarly y22 also same value and y12 and y21 are same as minus 0 0.3044 plus j 1.88 now we can convert this y bus into a polar form while doing that uh, use uh, the radian mode in the calculator so we can obtain this answer for each uh, term 1.842 angle minus 1.405 and similarly y12 is 1.904 angle 1.731 similarly the other two terms so this is the first step we formed y bus and convert that y bus into a polar form now step 2 assume the initial values so usually we in a power flow solution we used to assume uh, the voltage value as one angle zero so we assume the flat profile voltage one angle zero so that means the voltage magnitude is one and the voltage angle is zero degree so magnitude is v magnitude and the angle will be del so this del value is assumed to be zero and the magnitude of voltage is assumed to be one so del is equal to zero and v equal to one per unit and in this case there are two buses so the first bus is assumed to be a slack bus and the second bus we need to assume the voltage as one angle zero in matrix form del 2 and v2 where del 2 is zero and v2 is one so this is the assumption 
for the initial values. Step 3, since first bus is a slack bus, no need to calculate anything in the first bus and in the second bus, we need to calculate the real power, reactive power and the change in real power and change in reactive power using Newton flow method of power flow analysis. To calculate this uh, real power, we can use this formula summation of q equal to 1 to n, magnitude of vp, magnitude of ypq, vq and cos of theta pq del q minus del p and this theta pq value is angle of ypq value. So now you can substitute p equal to 2 and n equal to 2 in the previous expression since the total number of bus is 2 and now we are going to calculate the real power at bus 2 so p equal to 2. So substituting that value and the q varies from 1 to n so q equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 so you will be getting two terms in this equation. So first term is q equal to 1 second term is q equal to 2. So for substitute you will be getting v1 v2 p equal to 2 then ypq p equal to 2 and q equal to 1 and vq v1 cos of theta pq 2 1 and theta 1 minus theta 2. Similarly, for the second term q equal to 2. So, v2 and ypq p is 2 q is 2 and vq q is 2 cos of theta 2 2 plus del 2 minus del 2. Now, substituting all the values from the y bus matrix and as well as from the given data. So, v2 is 1 angle 0 we assumed in the second step and y2 1 y21 is from the y bus matrix 21 is 1.904 the magnitude of y21 okay take only the magnitude here and v1 which is given in the problem as 1.05 angle 0 so take that 1.05 here and cos of theta21 it is an angle of this y21 so y21 angle is 1.731 plus the del value is 0 we assumed in second step and the given data it is specified for del1, del1 is 0 and del2 is 0 in the second step. Similarly, v2 is 1 we assumed in second step and y22 from the y bus you can take this 1.842 and substitute here and v2 is 1 cos of theta22, theta22 is angle of y22 which is minus 1.405 and this del2 and minus del2 get cancelled. So, Simplifying this equation, you will be getting minus 0 0.3189 for the first term and plus 0 0.3039 for the second term. So, adding this two, you will be getting a minus 0 0.015 per unit as real power at the second bus. And now, in the given data for the second bus, real power at load is given as 30. Okay, we can calculate the specified value as P2 specified equal to the generated value minus the load value. So, generated value is not specified in the problem. So, which is equal to 0 minus the load power. The load power PL equal to 30 given and this 30 value is a actual value divided by the base value. So, actual by base that gives you per unit. So, 30 divided by 100, 100 MVA base is given in the problem. So, 30 divided by 100 that will be equal to minus of 0.3 per unit. So, this is the real power specified and already we calculated this real power as minus 0 0.015 per unit. Now, we can calculate the change in real power. So, change in real power equal to real power specified minus real power calculated. So, specified is minus 0.3 per unit minus of the calculated value is minus 0 0.015 per unit. So, if you simplify this, you will be getting minus 0.285. This is the change in real power at bus 2. Similarly, the reactive power. To calculate the reactive power, you can use this formula minus summation q equal to 1 to n vp ypq vq sin of theta pq plus del q minus del p. Substitute p equal to 2 and n equal to 2 in this equation you will be getting two terms since q varies from 1 to 2 and uh, substituting all the values v21 and y21 from y bus v1 from the given data sin of 
this theta 2 1 it is angle of y 2 1 and del 1 and del 2 are 0 and similarly substitute for this term we will be getting this first term answer is minus 1.97 minus of second term answer is minus 1.8167 simplifying we will be getting q2 calculated value will be equal to minus 0.153 per unit. So, now we can calculate the specified value of q that will be equal to generated value minus the load value. So, generated value is not given is 0 minus the load value is given in the problem as 10 divided by the base value. So, 10 by 100 base that will be equal to minus 0.1 per unit. So, change in q2 value change in reactive power q2 that will be equal to specified value minus calculated value. So, specified value is minus 0.1 minus the calculated value is minus 0.153 that gives you 0 0.053. Step 4. Now, form Jacobian matrix. So, the Jacobian matrix is of the form dou P2 by dou del 2 and here dou P2 by dou magnitude of V2 and here dou Q2 by dou del 2 and here dou Q2 by dou magnitude of V2 into change in del 2 and the change in magnitude V2 that will be equal to change in real power and change in reactive power. So, to calculate this change in voltage and angle del, we need to obtain this Jacobian matrix, the four terms in the Jacobian matrix. Already we know this two terms, del P2 and del Q2 from the third step. To calculate dou P2 by dou del 2, we can use this formula dou pp by dou del p that will be equal to summation q equal to 1 to n and this q is not equal to p vp vq ypq sin of theta pq plus del q minus del p substituting p equal to 2 and n equal to 2 over here. So, you will be getting the first term as q varies from 1 to 2 and we know that p equal to 2 and this q is not equal to p that means only one term comes in this summation point that is q equal to 1. So, v2 and vq is v1 y21 sin of theta pq p and q is 1 del q and del p and q is not equal to p that is q is not equal to 2. So, only one term. So, substitute all the values. So, V2 you know from the second step we assume as 1 and V1 is given in the data given in the problem 1.05 and Y21 from the Y bus matrix the magnitude part and sine of the angle of Y21 and this del 1 del 2 are 0. So, substituting you will be getting 1.973. So, this is the first term in the Jacobian matrix. The second term dou pp by dou vp that will be equal to 2 vp ypp cos theta pp plus summation q equal to 1 to n where q is not equal to p vq ypq cos theta pq plus del q minus del p. So, substituting p equal to 2 and q varies from 1 to 2 and n equal to 2 in this uh, above equation we can obtain like this 2 into v2 y22 cos theta 22 where p equal to 2 and the second term you can see q equal to 1 to n where n equal to 2. So, q equal to 1 and q equal to 2, but here the value of p is 2. Here one condition is the q is not equal to p. So, that means q should not be equal to 2. So, the only one term comes in this equation q equal to 1. So, that one term is v1 y21 cos of theta21 plus del1 minus del2. Substitute all the values which we know from the y bus matrix and from the given data and from step 2. So, from step 2 v2 is 1, y22 from y bus and the theta2 is also from y bus. Similarly, substitute for the second term you can obtain the answer as point. 289. This is a second term of the Jacobian matrix. Similarly, the third term dou q p divided by dou del p. Use this formula summation q equal to 1 to n and q is not equal to p v p v q y p q 
cos of theta p q plus del q minus del p. Substituting p equal to 2 and n equal to 2 in this equation, we will be getting v2, v1, y21 and cos of theta21 plus del1 minus del2. So, this v2 is a magnitude, v2 is 1 and v1 is 1.05, y2 is from y bus matrix 1.904, cos of theta21 is 1.731 and the del value is 0 as we know. So, you can substitute, you will be getting minus 0.3189 fourth term is dou qp divided by dou vp magnitude that will be equal to minus 2 you can use this formula minus 2 vp ypp sin theta pp minus summation q equal to 1 to n and q is not equal to p vq ypq sin theta pq plus del q minus del p substituting p equal to 2 and uh, n equal to 2 in the above equation, we can get minus 2 into v2 y2 2 and the sin q sin theta pp that is sin theta 2 2 minus this term is q equal to 1 to n and is not equal to p. So, q equal to only 1. So, v1 ypq 2 1 sin theta 2 1 plus del 1 minus del 2. Substituting all the values from y bus matrix and from the given data and from step 2 will be obtaining this equation and finally we will be getting 1.6598. So, these four formulas are used to form the Jacobian matrix. So, substituting all the answers in the Jacobian matrix. So, this four term is a Jacobian matrix into del del 2 and del v2 magnitude that will be equal to del p2 del q2. In order to find this del del 2 and del v2, that is a power flow equation that will be equal to taking this Jacobian matrix to that, that side to the right hand side it become inverse into del p2 del q2. By taking inverse of this term you will be getting directly you can uh, it is a 2 cross 2 matrix easily you can obtain by using a calculator taking inverse you will be getting this answer as 0 0.4929 and this side is minus 0.085 and this is 0 0.0947 and 0 0.5859 and you can substitute del p2 and del q2 from step 3 what we already found this answer as minus 0 0.285 and 0 0.053. Multiplying this two matrix you can get minus 0 0.145 and 0 0.00406. This is change in the value of del 2 and the change in the value of v2. Okay, so, this is how the matrix formed and now the new value of del 2 and v2 can be obtained and that is x equal to x naught that is the initial value plus the change, change in x. The initial value what we assumed in step 2 and this change in x value what we obtain now in step 4. So, you can substitute that two value del 2 v2 plus del del 2 del v2. This del 2 v2 from step 2 you can take and substitute 0 and 1.0 and this del del 2 from the previous step this minus 0.145 and this one is 0 0.00406. Adding this two you can get the new value of del 2 and v2 that is minus 0 0.145 and 1.00406 and Hence, V2 equal to 1.00406 angle minus 0.145 per unit. And thus, the power flow solution for the given system is determined using the Newton Raphson method for one iteration. So, if you go, go for a number of iteration, you can use the k term and you can repeat the steps again and find the Jacobian matrix for the second iteration until the value get converged.